Hello, hello everyone. Whosoever is going to watch this video today, uh, my topic will be you know uh, introduction to chemistry. So we will be discussing what chemistry actually is. Okay, you might be familiar with you know some definitions, but you know uh, as you are watching this video. So we will be uh, talking about uh, chemistry today. First of all, you should know what chemistry is. Okay, so uh, we will start with the word chemistry. Okay, is it audible? Yes. Is it uh, you know uh, visible to you? Can you see this? Okay, fine. So the chemistry, if we will go to the normal definition, you know, we say it's the branch which deals with studies of matter. Studies of matter. matter. It's a short definition, you know, everyone, uh, I guess everyone might be knowing about it. It's a short definition. Studies of matter, simply. Even, you know, uh, small kids might be knowing about this, you know, so chemistry so, so, so. is studies of matter. But, you know, if we will bro broadly uh, try to elaborate this definition, I will say, I will say here, I will write here a, uh, an elaborative definition here. That will be like, composition structure properties and changes so what does that actually mean you know i will say it's that branch of science which deals with the studies of matter its composition its structure properties. its properties and the changes occurring in the matter what does actually that mean i will try you know uh, explain that to you my dear students i will uh, explain that uh, now so i'm saying studies of matter it's studies of we will say studies of matter I will elaborate it, its structure, first thing, composition, second, then I will also say properties. the properties, okay, one more thing I will say, the changes, what does that actually mean, you know, <coughs> first I'm saying it's a branch of science which deals with the studies of matter, its structure, its structure. What I'm talking about? The matter. matter. Okay, its structure, its composition, the properties of matter and the changes occurring in matter. So in chemistry, we will study. We will study the matter, its structure, its composition, its properties and the changes it, uh, you know, uh, it uh, the changes occurring in the matter or we can say sometimes we say transformations, okay transformations and change uh, it's one and the same thing okay i will try to explain that first of all you should know what matter is actually do you know what's matter yeah okay so earlier earlier we used to say agar hum pehle dekhenge no, no, in the earlier times we used to say matter is something which we feel which we feel feel Earlier, you know, in the earlier times, we used to say anything which we can feel, like, you know, this is pen, I can touch it, so I'm feeling it, okay, with my senses, I'm touching this. Uh, but as the science advanced, you know, uh, the definition changed. Uh, we used to start, uh, you know, uh, the new definitions, like, you know, matter is anything which has mass and occupies space okay so this is the modern definition anything anything which occupies space and has got some mass okay so that is the modern definition but earlier we used to say anything which we can touch which we can feel you know uh, by mm -hmm. our senses but that you know that uh, changed by the advancement of science okay <clears throat> Now, 
I'm saying anything which has mass, which has mass and occupies space. So this is the you know uh, this is a marker. Can you say it's it's matter? Yes, because it's occupying some space, isn't it? And it can you know if you will weigh it, it has some mass, isn't it? I will say man. Is man a matter or not? Yes. yes. Your answer should be yes because because it occupies space, right? Mm -hmm. And plus plus it has some mass mass also, right? So both things man is following both things. It's occupying space as well. You know, it's having mass as well. So. Uh, uh, at that point of time, I can say man is matter. So I am saying anything, anything, anything means you know, everything comes under that. Okay. So earlier, you know, uh, this air, air. People will say, does air have mass or not? Earlier, you know, scientists uh, or people they have that misconception that conception that you know air is not matter. Okay, but. As science advanced, you know, we can compress it. We can compress it. Isn't it? We can compress air, you know, it turns into liquids that you can weigh. You can simply say, yeah, it does have matter, isn't it? Actually, it's made, made up of simple uh, units, you know, those are atoms they weigh, isn't it? You might have heard about that atomic mass units. So, actually, everything is having mass and occupies space. Yes. So, uh, generally, I can say the physical world is matter, isn't it? Mm. So, by that definition, you might have you know understood now what matter is. Fine. So, uh, that's what I'm trying to say that you know chemistry is that branch of science. We will study about this matter, its structure, its composition, you know, its properties. I can say the changes occurring in this matter. Okay. So that is the branch, you know, uh, that is that's chemistry for you. Fine. So in chemistry, you will study about that. Now, what does that mean actually? Okay, I will take an example here. I will take example of water. Fine. So uh, as you know the definition, as you know the definition, water is matter, isn't it? It's, it's having mass. It's occupying some space as well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So... Water is matter. This is example I'm taking here. I will take water as an example. Okay. Next thing I talked about, you know, in chemistry, we will study the matter. It's composition. Fine. Now, what does this composition mean? What does this composition mean? This water, actually, it's made up of something, isn't it? It's not, you know, like liquid. It's made of some constituents there. So, generally, you might be knowing it's made up of Hydrogen <clears throat> and oxygen. oxygen. These are the individual units, individual units of water, isn't it? Fine. So this will be this will be the composition. Fine. This will be the composition. Or sometimes you know if you will have drinking water, you will have drinking water so that might sometimes contain minerals also, isn't it? That will also come into the composition. Fine. So uh, this is uh, this is what I'm trying to say. What water is actually made up of? That will be the composition. I'm saying water is made up of hydrogen. It's made up of oxygen. Sometimes you know, if you are drink, if we will consider drinking water, it's made up of minerals also. Fine. So this is the composition of water. Fine. So these are the individual units. So I discussed composition. Fine. Next thing I said, you might have, you might remember now. Next thing, what I discussed is the structure. structure, right? So, uh, in chemistry, we represent you know different constituents. Like you know, hydrogen we represent it by H. H, and you know, oxygen we represent it by O. o. Actually, these these units, or we can say these are the actually atoms. They are. They have an arrangement. Okay, they have an arrangement that makes up the structure. Like you know how they are arranged in this water. These atoms or these constituents, how they are arranged, 
that will give you the structure like you might have heard you know uh, you might have you know seen the structure of water it's like this isn't it two hydrogens are attached to one oxygen okay that will make up the structure of water isn't it mm. so this is the structure of water okay this is this is what i was discussing i was discussing it as matter isn't it so i discussed it about you know it's composition i said it's made up of hydrogen it's made up of oxygen isn't it mm. so these are the individual constituents next thing i said we will discuss about the structure of matter so that will be like this fine this is the structure of water, water right this is the actually arrangement of atoms in the water fine in the water molecule fine so this is the second thing third thing i said we will study the changes occurring in matter matter changes now i will take the same water fine let me take a uh, water in a uh, you know uh, in some container fine this is water for you right so uh, what i will do let me uh, let me tell you i will uh, you know heat it for for some time this you know uh, container i'll be heated you will suddenly see after some time you know this water getting changed into vapors you might have seen it you know in your houses in your places like you know it changes its state you know actually there is some change occurring isn't it mm -hmm. it's changing from liquid to yes. a gas so can you say there is a change occurring isn't it mm -hmm. yes there is a change occurring so that's what i'm saying we will discuss about the changes occurring in mm -hmm. matter fine or sometimes you know you are burning for example uh, you know uh, this is this is uh, you know lpg for you you are burning lpg here right liquefied petroleum gas fine so there is also a change occurring here there is a change like you know combustion occurring isn't it combustion occurs you know your uh, your fuel or i can say there are gas burns you know uh, it change you get carbon dioxide and you get heat you know that heat you utilize here but actually there's a change occurring isn't it so mm -hmm. that's what i'm trying to say that chemistry in chemistry you will study about the changes occurring in matter mm -hmm. right so this is the third point i was discussing and then the final step final point sorry i was uh, I wrote on the uh, you know board that was the properties. Properties. So properties simply you know about properties you know properties anything it's a lick is is matter liquid or gas you know that will be the physical property why it changes to liquid why it changes to gas what will be the boiling point what will be the liquid you know uh, point. melting point and what will be the, you know uh, its properties can it conduct electricity can it not. Uh, so these are the they are actually property so we will study about those things also so if anybody will ask you what chemistry is now you can easily say it's that branch of science which deals with the studies of matter its structure fine its composition right if the change is occurring in the matter or oh, and the properties of matter so uh, this is actually you know elaborate definition i try to you know uh explain you to those things what i was discussing fine so you know what matter is the modern definition of uh, modern definition of matter that is anything which occupies space okay so uh, this is the basic introduction of chemistry what we will study about chemistry now this chemistry it has many branches right mm -hmm. it has many branches we have physical chemistry isn't it we have organic chemistry we have inorganic chemistry right we have biochemistry <clears throat> we have you know uh, analytical chemistry So these are the different branches of chemistry like you know physical we will study of the physical phenomena of matter right in organic chemistry we will study about the organic molecules you know the reactions and other things inorganic 
is simply you know uh, inorganic materials or inorganic compounds we will study about that you know biochemistries biomolecules like you know molecules uh, chemistry you know uh, chemical compounds present in the you know uh, biological systems fine so that's why we say biology and analytic chemistry is simply you know we do analysis in that okay so is that branch so we have many branches like you know physical organic inorganic like you might be you you will study as you have taken up chemistry now you will study about all those branches okay so <clears throat> this is chemistry for you <clears throat> that uh, that was simple definition uh, of chemistry which which i try to elaborate to you what we study in chemistry what chemistry actually is okay you might i will give you one more thing lastly that's who 